Hey there, I'm Brooke. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, learning about some of the supports that are available to you outside of classes at the university. And so I'm going to start us off by talking about a bit of a general topic um, with just trying to get um, connected and kind of building community within the university. So there's a few ways you can go about this. Um, one of the best ways that we like to bring up to get involved uh, comes right at the start of the semester and it's our orientation, also known as our week of welcome. Uh, and this is just designed full of these fun events that are both, you know, educational and they're helping students to get comfortable and to meet other people, find like minded people. Uh, and of course, it's going to look a bit different than usual this year where we are operating remotely, but that does not mean in any way that like, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, it's it's still going to be a great experience. So we definitely recommend getting involved with that and more details about the specifics of what that week is going to look like will be coming soon. So you can keep an eye on our CBU website and our CBU social media. Um, and another thing that is also available uh, that definitely brings people together is our societies. So we actually have over 30 societies currently within the university and these have such a broad range. Um, you know, there's a society for almost every academic focus at the university, whether you're into biology or you're in the theater community or anything in between. Um, and there's also uh, societies that relate more to say hobbies such as gaming and chess and things like that. And even, uh, you know, I know we have some religious societies. So I think there's really something for everyone and it's, you know, what better place to find like-minded people and people who share your passions than in a society dedicated to those passions, right? Um, so you can find info from them on the student union website, which is cbusu.ca. And yeah, um, even though even, you know, even just taking this course is honestly a good start because it's going to get you familiar using the media that you'll be able to connect with other students through throughout the semester. Uh, and with that, I'm going to pass it over to Charlotte. Um, so one of the supports that we offer is the Writing Center, and this is going to be really great if you have a written assignment such as an essay or just anything with a lot of writing. And you can bring it to one of the tutors at the Writing Center and they'll help you go over it, give you some tips and tricks to improve your writing, or just even understand the assignment better. Uh, so you can book an appointment with them on the website if you go to current students and under that there will be a student services section and the Writing Center. Uh, it will be the same process that you went to to book your academic advising appointment um, and they will be able to help you there. Um, so if you have more math and science courses and you're kind of struggling with those, we have math and science center tutoring. And again, if you need help with an assignment, if you are having trouble understanding a topic, we have a bunch of really great tutors that will be able to help you with that and they now operate through Discord. So again, the website link is under the student services section. You'll just click on that, enter your name, and you will be uh, connected with a bunch of tutors that will be able to help you um, in those disciplines. Uh, if you're having more troubles with just general skills, if you need someone to talk to about your academic career, we have success coaching with um, some really great student advisors, and they will be able to help you kind of book a one-on-one -on -one and talk through any problems that you're having academically, help you develop some skills um, and talk you through uh, any troubles that you may be having. And finally, if you are a student with a, with a disability of any kind who may require extra supports within or just outside of the classroom, the Jennifer Keeping Center is here to help. And so they will help you with in-class accommodations, be it um, note taking, be it other accessibility accommodations. And you can register for an appointment with someone at the Jennifer Keeping Center by emailing jkc at cbu.ca and they'll help you get all sorted out. Uh, so Heidi is going to talk to us about other supports. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the student union. So Brooke mentioned um, about societies and um, I'll go over kind of the centers and different services they offer. So the student union is run by a team of executives that are students themselves and they are elected by the student body. So you as a student have a say in who will be representing you as a student. So the team works to fulfill the needs of the diverse uh, student body here at CBU. So there are lots of ways you can get involved through the student union. Um, as mentioned, there's three different centers that they run. So there's the Women's Center, the Pride and Ally Center, and the Multicultural Hub, um, each of which uh, has different resources, 
workshops and they also host uh, some special events throughout the year. Um, and it will look a little differently this year, but there will definitely be some ways to get involved. Um, and through the student union, there's always uh, lots of volunteer opportunities. So if you have some free time and uh, you're looking for ways to give back to the community or connect with the larger Cape Breton community, um, that's a good place to go. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a place where you can meet like-minded individuals as Brooke mentioned before. And uh, like she mentioned, you can also check out the student union website to learn more. Awesome. Uh, so I'm going to bring it back to me for a second and I'm going to talk about uh, kind of the career services aspect of the supports that are available. So um, our career services at CBU, they can actually help you while you're a student and, you know, kind of for planning for what you're going to do after you're a student. Um, because obviously, you know, you're not going to be here forever, but they want to help you no matter what point in that process you're at. Um, so, you know, we have things on the CB website, such as we uh, like a job board. They, you know, there are job listings that you can find there, whether they're at the university or just uh, in the community. So when you're working with the career services team, um, they can actually help you find jobs, uh, you know, plan for your future and take part in special programs that exist, uh, such as co-op which I'm actually a co-op student. And what that means is uh, I take part in, you know, work terms that are actually also basically academic credits. So it's kind of like I'm taking a course, but I'm working at the same time. And it's kind of, they work together, they coincide and it all relates. And it's a really good program to be in because, you know, it's a good chance to get that experience, but you're still working on your degree and it kind of all works together well. Um, so something else to do with career services is the co-curricular record, which uh, is available at CBU. So basically, um, it's something that definitely can give you a drive to get involved outside of the classroom in these groups and societies and leadership positions and events that might be running at the university. Because uh, basically, by doing these extracurricular things and being involved, you can be officially kind of recognized by the university for this and it can kind of, you know, help you get ahead a little. So who doesn't want that? Um, and so Career Services does have a page on the CB website. You can find them pretty easily just by searching for Career Services and they'll have more information on all these things I've talked about and even more to do with uh, what they do over there. So back to Charlotte. All right, so in addition to academic support, we also have a lot of health related support on campus through the Max Bell Health Center. Um, and even though we are operating online for this semester, you will still be able to access these services uh, through fees that you pay with your tuition. Um, so if you are having any sort of health related issue, you can talk to either a nurse, a physiotherapist or a physician all available to you at the Max Bell Health Center and you can contact them by emailing healthservices at cbu.ca. And if you are having issues within your personal life or you just need someone to talk to, you need an open ear, we also have personal counseling available with a social worker and a personal counselor there for you. who will be able to help talk you through any problems you may be having and develop strategies to help you overcome those obstacles. Um, so again, you can book an appointment with them by emailing health services and we are here to help. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to be talking about um, kind of the technology support that we have. Um, as we're going to be doing classes online, um, that's something we'll probably be running into a lot. So um, at CBU, there's an IT help desk. Um, so they'll be operating online during the um, fall semester. So if you come across any issues with Moodle, um, your student account, and when we do get back on campus, uh, you may have a problem connecting to the Wi-Fi. Um, they're a great resource to reach out to. Um, and when we are back on campus, that's where you'll go to get your student ID cards. And they're a great help, uh, let me tell you, uh, during the online semester. So you can reach out to them at helpdesk at cbu.ca. And I'll go back, back to Brooke. Awesome. So I'm going to wrap it up for us here. That's a good look at plenty of the supports that are available on campus. And I think kind of the core message that we're really trying to get across here is just that you know, these supports exist for you. Um, you know, never, we never want you to have a question and feel like there's no one you can go to. You know, there's always an answer you can find somewhere. So whenever you need help, just reach out because, you know, they're here for you and 
may as well use them, right? So that's it for us, and we'll catch you in the next video.